So you guys came here, <laughs> we figured out a year ago, mm -hmm. and yep. we've kind of finished everything since last time you we were here. And as, since we're all homies, like I just wanted to do a show, the four of us, and catch up about life and bullshit and all that type of stuff. And then we can do actual interviews with you guys right. about the stuff I'm interested in, interested in deeper yeah. dives, if you will. Deeper dives. No, and I think that's a. I think it's a good idea because a lot has happened since we had that last podcast. I think we did the uh, Would You Rather. I think last we did. Time, oh, we? Yeah, we yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was fun. Um, but yeah, a lot, lots happened. Yeah, we saw y'all in Vegas, but we didn't really get time to podcast or catch up too right. much out right. there. Mm -hmm. Man, I forgot about that. That was yeah. last time. It would have been May. Yeah, that seems March. like recent. But then also a really ago. fucking long time yeah. ago. Yeah. Still about a year. Yeah. That's how the last two years have felt. Yeah. As if like a lot has happened, but nothing has actually Yeah, happened what a weird also. thing, right? That that it that it feels like this weird pause has been put on, but at the same time, not for everyone. Yeah. The the pandemic yes. has highlighted how fake time is to me. Like how much we made it up. Okay. Mm. You know, like who's to say that I don't I can't wake up at two in the morning and work? Dude. Or, Dude, I'm, I'm an I adult. live the exact same fucking life. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody just, said I couldn't do that. I'm just at a point now. It's like I'll go to sleep when I'm tired, and when I'm awake, I'll do things. Yeah. And because this place exists, and because the windows are like a casino, and you don't know what time it is in this building at any point, <laughs> and we pump oxygen in, um, I it doesn't fucking matter. Yeah. Like if I want to come work at 3 a.m. because I'm awake for some stupid reason. I'm done and arguing with my brain of like, go back to sleep, go back to sleep. Like, fuck it, we'll just go. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. You actually changed my life one time when you had said, like, I know what time my productive hours are and mm -hmm. I'm not going to try and force it to anything else. And I was like, wow, I never thought of it that way. I thought we all had to be working, you know, efficiently at the same time, same hours of the day. And that's so unrealistic. <laughs> like, the 2 a.m. thing, I totally mean that. Like, I... I'm very productive between like five or six in the morning to like three p.m. and then I'm just a mm. bag of shit. I'm just <laughs> useless. Same. Just I'm, crash, my my done. perfect is six to two. Yeah. I'm I'm on fire. Yeah. Six to two at three p.m. I'd like to be doing very very little to nothing. Yeah. Um. Recently, like with what life's been throwing at me, it seems by like six to two, and then at two, <laughs> if I can train or do something, I can almost get a reset. And mm. like I get a yeah. chance to run at it again, but only until about six. Yeah. <laughs> the second window is a much shorter run. Yeah. But that, it, I have to refocus it. Right. We've been That's kind of like what we've been trying to figure out what works best for the two of us, even though we work in the same office. Like when does she work best? When do I work best? And that sounds a little bit like mine, <clears throat> where I can work pretty well for three, four hours in early morning. Then I have to have like a total break, tra train take myself out of there and then seem to have like a big surge second surge but i don't want to be doing it up until like 9 10 p.m no. at night because no. i'm just like how no, have you guys ridiculous. figured out how to balance like well, i mean over the last two years so one of the things i got to watch was people work from home mm. I've, I've done this for a decade like i ran a real yeah. outside sales job working <clears throat> from the house so i'm used to like pacing myself being at home and not being distracted by home things. Mm -hmm. I got rid of that window. It's it's hard and everyone has to figure it out. Right. Like how did you guys figure that out and then both being at the same place all the time? Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> tricky. And I think we've only really gotten into the groove recently. I'm doing a lot more stuff with my business and I, I very much so struggle with ADHD and my mental health wasn't doing well. So I had talked to a psychiatrist and I got back on my ADHD meds and I got back on uh, an antidepressant, but Wellbutrin is also often used for people that have ADHD as well. Cause it's more of like a mood kind of thing. Okay. You know, you can, you feel super productive. And so I have worked the best I ever had since being on that combination. Um, but the biggest thing for me is telling myself that the online or at home work is a real job. You have to treat it like a real job and show up for it like it's a real job. And you can't just be like, oh, you know, I'll, I'll go, you know, at 10 in the morning and go and work until 9 p.m. Like the best way for me personally is to act like I'm going into the office, know that I can be flexible. Like let's say I, I didn't sleep until 2 in the morning and I needed to wake up at 7 or 8. That's fine. But like show up for the job and be there and have your lunch break and do all that. Um and of course, like we work from home for the flexibility of it and the financial freedom. But for me personally, on my hardest working days or like biggest stack days, 
treat it like it's an actual nine to five job. Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm still figuring it out. Right. Yeah. Like I said, I think I'm playing along with when I'm more productive and when I'm not. Um, and I well, you're know, still pretty early in a lot yeah. of business development mm -hmm. stuff. You're still kind of figuring out exactly what's working. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I'm finding like certain times of the day work best for me. But like you just said about, do you get distracted from normal day life? I, I'm the kind of person that if I make a list of like 10 things, I'll want to make sure I do them all. But nine times out of 10, it doesn't actually happen. And you have to be happy with, I, I can do this amount. I can do one to five and do it very, very well. And then like I have tomorrow, or I have that second surge later on today where I can focus on this, where I'll get like stuck on one, two, and just like fr like fry my brain because I'm like oh I've, I have to do this all perfect everything has to be perfect, Where, whereas in reality, you know you have the ability when you work for yourself at home like I'm gonna do some solid really good work for two hours, step away from it come back and have a look at it is it good enough and then move on, mm -hmm. um so that's basically where I'm yeah for sure and man I, I'm, I'm smiling because like they're all of course these are the problems to solve like this is the same i i did it like i'm yeah. now remembering like you know our age difference right and like so i can look yeah. back and be like <clears throat> just you're on the right path like that's it like don't ever think that you're late or any of that like you're doing it there's no way to skip this step and like yeah. feeling incompetent like you don't know what you're doing that's part of it yeah, otherwise go fucking work for someone else yeah yeah, yeah. otherwise just and just so you know Every day, eight years in to everything I have going on, I have very little true idea of what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> so if that's a feeling you're trying to get rid of, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, something we, we keep reminding each other, like when Luke feels a bit more frustrated in the day is like, hey, you know, we're in this fitness space and we got a lot of really cool friends doing cool shit. Um, but n not a lot of normal people have their own business. Like we're very yeah. different, but it feels normal. It oh, feels yeah. normal for all of us to be having this, our, you know, our business and whatever. But <clears throat> if we stepped out into the normal world or our hometown, like three people, you know, would be able to say that. Like that's not normal. And it's okay oh, yeah. to struggle because not yeah. everybody's doing it. You know, it's well, hard. It's so easy to let those perspectives get wrapped up in this bubble that <clears throat> we operate in right of entrepreneurs and fitness and <coughs> people building their own universes and comparisons yeah. within that world you know <coughs> until you look outside and you're like oh people would just love to have the opportunity to do this or don't even know how to get to this point yeah. you know it's j back to just perspective and we're all all consuming other people's content that do the same thing as us mm -hmm. and doing it really well and that's why we follow them or have them in yeah. our circle or remember that what you're seeing is a curated view of their business. Right. You're only seeing their advertising. Right. right? Yeah. And so what's, what's been really huge for me is having close relationships and friends who do what I do. Right. And be able to call and verify with someone else of like, hey, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, you've got a lot of like close friends in the apparel business, and I'm sure that's pretty reassuring at times to be like, are things trending like this for well, you? Well, like, it is as long as you guys are, everyone's cool with being honest with each other about mm -hmm. when it sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Because a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't want, like, oh man, I can't let people see that, like, there's a fucking struggle. Like, yo, the struggle's mm -hmm. the part of it. Yeah. Right. You already checked in with a few people around Black Friday. Everyone's yep. dealing with the same bullshit. And so, like, all right. Fucking that mean what that means is it's not directly yeah. on yeah. us, right? Yeah, it's so not. So fucking like, hold the line wrong. and do. F let's start figuring out then how to make a move, right? You know, yeah. um, yeah. It just it just point. I'm trying to figure out where the light is on the the problem that actually needs to be solved because I don't believe that problem say is quality of design, right? Yeah, I mean, you guys have gone, you know miles away from th how things used to be you've progressed so much so yeah it, it, it it's it's been fun and again like <sighs> fucked a bunch of stuff at the end of last year ordered like too many things and just out of stress and panic and being in dubai i just fucking panicked before black friday and i ordered too much shit and so the good news is is we basically have apparel and goat shorts to get us through may or june 
The bad news is I paid for all those and I'm broke. <laughs> I was gonna say, what do you do with all that? You just they sit in the warehouse and sit you on fucking it and stare wait. at them and realize you have to pace it out and be smart instead of like, why well, doesn't my money look like shorts? <laughs> why my money look like shorts? But oh. you no, know, it fucking happens. And yeah. you know, and for me, like I stay focused too on now being able to say, like, anytime I run into these big picture problems of being able to say. Everyone I look up to who's doing what I've done figured this out. Mm -hmm. So if I want to be on that side of the line, I have to figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. Figure this thing out, move on to the next one. Well, in the last time we were here, you highlighted something that we often reiterate as well is like, none of it's magic. Like the people yeah, that have that gone through saying. it, they didn't, you know, step into a fucking vat of magic and then everything was figured out they had to figure it out and there were steps to it and if you're at that step well there's we know people who did the magic <laughs> right <laughs>